Love you too. This your boy J. Cole. I'll talk live. Now, I'm going to play this little video right here. My reaction on Young Thug in court. And I hope a lot of you young boys watch this video. I hope a lot of y'all sit back and understand what's going on in the courtroom. You understand that he's in Georgia. He's in Georgia. Let that sink in right now. Let that sink in. He's in Georgia. So all of you young boys out there want to play thug, act like thugger, want to be game banging, when they start handing down indictments, this young man got 56 indictments. 56 indictments. They've been watching him since 2012. Watch the video. I'll get back at y'all. It's my reaction video. My reaction on young thug in court. Watch the video. Yes, sir. What do you want to tell me? I'm sorry for disobeying your court. Now, I had to stop it there. You heard what he just said. I'm sorry for disobeying your court. What that tell you right there? He been in front of that judge more than one time. Now you sorry for disobeying this man court because you facing life in prison if these charges stick. You talking about 56 indictments? It's for all you young boys out there that's running around game banging and thinking it's the way of life. And when they start handing out football numbers, that you see on back of these jerseys, you get to thinking about what's going on in court. Sorry for disobeying my PO and being here again. And I just want to like be home with my family and do Young right. Thugger want to be home with his family and do right. But for 10 years, from 2012 to 2022, was he thinking about his family then? What's he thinking about his family? This man, they, they, they got murder charges. Drug charges, extortion charges. They got racketeering charges. This is what they add them up. Organized crime within the game. Slime. Attached with the bloods. Y'all gotta get to thinking, man. When you sitting in front of that judge, regardless if you white and black, you see your whole life in front of you. Now you want to do right and go home with your kids and be with your family because you got boys? We all got boys. But you weren't thinking about that when you was running around here slamming, right? What's the video. It's got so many millions of people that pays, pays attention to me. And it's like, I live like, I live so different. I'm not blaming it on that, but it's like, these last six days, it's like every time, these last six days was like, the six days when I came back down to reality. Come on, thugger. Man, cut it out, man. You said these last six days, these last six days made you realize it brought you down to reality? So it had to take, it had to take them to sit you down. It had to take them to sit you down for six days? Nah, they should have had you sitting down longer than that because you ain't learned. You fidgeting you all over the place. You move it too much. If you're going to talk to a judge, you stand there, you stare that man in his eyes, and you keep your hand down by your side. But you're doing too much right now. You ain't sorry. You don't want to be sitting up in there with the rest of your homeboys. I understood that. Like, nah, this is real life. This is not. I got sons that's 10, 11 years old. Now, he just said you got sons 10, 11 years old. They've been watching you since 2012. It's already 2022. 10 years later. You wouldn't even think it then. I don't even think Shorty was even born or Shorty was on his way. 10, 11, 10, 11 years old? Hmm. You weren't thinking then, bro. You want to put your son, your sons weren't even here. They, they was on their way here when you started doing what you're doing. Come on, man. This don't make no sense. This is a lesson for all you young boys out there. Y'all need to watch this clip and listen to what's going on in the courtroom. Don't oh, damn that Shikachi. Forget all that Takashi stuff. Because it's, it's going to come back around the corner with these indictments. It's going to come right back around the corner. And I don't think these boys are going to really take, them, take, take 30 to 100 years. They're going to start telling in a minute. They're going to start talking in a minute. When you start throwing down racketeering charges and 56 indictments and 10 years of investigation. And they start round. They already round up for 28 people. And more. And gunning right behind them. They don't get more than that. When you start doing that, you know what's going to happen? The snitching coming. Believe that. They look up at me. I don't even want them to think like, 
going to jail, even if you're able to get right out of jail, it's cool. I just want to, you know what I'm saying? I want to just like, I want to just grow because I'm, I'm honestly grown. I just make mistakes. I'm not been penalized for them, but I'm sorry and I won't disobey you again. I'm gonna end it with this video. I'm gonna end the video with this. This, this what happened to all you young men running around right here. They start getting charges. I mean, usually the feds watch it for two, three years. They've been watching this man for 10 years. Y'all know the charges. Look up the charges, man. 56 indictments. There's going to be a lot more people involved in this. What I'm saying is this, man. Is it really worth it? Is jail really worth you going to jail? If this is really worth your life, then this is going to happen. This is in Atlanta. Once every other state start picking up, they start picking up on this, man. In the state of Georgia. At the end of the day, y'all giving them free slavery. That's just giving it to them, man. And it's sad, man. It's either black on black genocide or free slavery. Which one you want? Because you're going to get one of them. You're going to get one or the other. What on the other are you going to get? Black on black genocide or free slavery? Because that's what you're doing to each, to each, to each other. But it's your boy, Jake. We'll all talk loud. You young men, wake up, man. Wake up. Wake up. Because the snitching is coming. Oh, young thug are going to start snitching. He just said. He got two little boys. One one, one of them wasn't even here when they started this whole slime game, whatever they call it. Linked to the bloods. But one, one was on his way. And you see the look on the judge's face? He's smirking. Because the judge said, I got your black butt now. It's a lesson for all you young brothers out there. Whatever you rapping about, you putting it on lyrics, you putting it on the airways, whatever you talking about, whatever you doing in the streets, you self snitching. You doing all the dirt in the streets, then you putting it on wax. And then y'all send up this almost some free my man, free my shorty. Nah. I don't wish jail on nobody. But when you sitting up here, you already got people talking and snitching. That's why they snatched him up anyway. You talking about 10 years of investigation. 56 indictments. They going to bring on more indictments. And you know what? It's going to be a lot of black males. Young black men. Our black men. Doing 30 year life in prison. For what? Because you want to be cool. You want to be done. You want protection. Think about it. Is you willing to give up 100 years of your life to protect your big homie or protect your man? But the snitch is coming. You gonna see him. It's your boy Jay Quall Talk Live. Stay woke, stay strong. Keep that third eye open. We out there, peace.